Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope you are all doing well. Right, today we are going to be working at this little section of the garden. This is where I have all of my standards, right? This section of the garden is the first area that started my hands-on approach to gardening, right? It was because of these plants. So these plants have a special place in my heart. Right? I do remember when they came in last year, I needed to have gotten them in the ground and the gentleman that always did all the planting for me, he, I, I couldn't get in touch with them anymore. And I remember one day just feeling so perturbed about the whole thing. And my husband came to me. He's like, uh, Naomi, aren't you going to plant those uh, trees? I was like, well, you know, I'd like to, but I couldn't get in touch with the gentleman that I was looking for. So he did what any uh, husband would do. He came outside, picked up a shovel and said, all right, where do you want the hole? Yeah, okay, I showed him where I wanted it and he started to, started to dig. Yeah, started to remove that grass and dig that hole for me. And so naturally, I had to do what any loving wife would do, right? I said, babe, babe, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I took the shovel from him, and then that, that, that's how my hands-on approach to gardening started, right? From there, it was uh, digging, getting used to the soil, getting used to the earth, and trusting myself that I could actually plant something and it grow. All right, so that was just a quick backstory about this section. So everything that was planted then is alive and is thriving, except for this one little teeny rose of Sharon. All right, now these plants were purchased on sale from Fast Growing Trees, okay? All right, so with that being from Fast Growing Trees, they do have that one-year warranty that you can purchase with your plants. Right, so this was covered under a warranty replacement. I had to wait to get the right size, which is now finally here. And so we're going to go ahead and put it into the ground. Now, you're probably saying, Naomi, that spring was how many months ago? Was it three months ago that spring started? March, April, May, June? Yeah, two and a half months now, right? I still have the other plant sitting in the ground. And yes, I totally procrastinated where that was concerned. But guess what, guys? I am happy. I'm glad that I did that because looky here. Looky, looky, looky here. I'm going to bring you in close. Bear with me because you are handheld. And my hands are very shaky. But look at this. I see some growth down there, right? So this is very interesting for me. Um, I'm going to the entire standard, as you can see. The standard itself is gone. But somehow we got growth finally coming up from here so procrastination paid off for me this time because uh normally i would have had it out of the ground here by april and we are now in june and let haven't let it sit it was able to put on some roots i don't know if these are seeds that may have dropped or if this is from the root ball itself but based on how close it is to the actual plant i'm thinking it's from the roots uh huh so that gives me, puts, uh, raises another question or something that I have to do is that I cannot, guys, I cannot deliberately kill a plant. And so since I see that it is growing here, I'm going to, once we take it out, because I do have to replace it because this is a standard area, so I'm going to have to take this out. But we're going to have to find a space in the garden to plant the rest of this, to plant this up to see if it will spring into a tree for us. All right? Okay. So that was a lot of talking. Let me get to work. This should be a quick process. It's simply a matter of removing all of the gravel and taking out this tree and then getting the new one in. Let me get the camera set and then let's get right into it.
So this is what we are left with. Let me get on in here and I'm going to attempt to remove the tree very carefully. And then we'll figure out what we want to do with this little section that's coming up here. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, some of this soil out. Rather than trying to shovel it off to the side. Starting to see those roots. You guys seeing them? Yeah. Right, I have reached the grow bag. It's right here. Mm. This feels like a solid piece of rock. Make sure that doesn't go back in there. Alright, let's go ahead and get the plant itself out now that I can see it. She did root for us, guys. The roots are extending way past the grow bag. So I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Interesting. You have good roots. I'm going to bring you over so you can see it. The roots, I don't know if you can see them from here. They, she, she, it did root, yeah? Because the roots are extending outside of the grow bag. They have a, it came in a drop and go bag that you simply plant it in. But I've had to break roots along the side. So the plant did root. Just not quite sure why we lost it, eh? But all right. Let me get a container. Oh boy. Actually, I think I have an extra container on the back. Let's go get that container and we will simply put it in there once we have taken it out of the hole. In here. Okay, I don't have yeah, I have a spare container here, guys. Let's just use that one. It is empty. Yeah, here we go. Oh, so this is how much rain we got today. You can see collected in the container. Alright, I should keep that water in there. Let's get back here. I'm going to put it directly into this container and then see if we can figure out, because we do have time, we'll figure out where we can put it. If there's not a place for it in the garden, then we'll simply let it grow in here. At least for a couple days until we find a space for it. All right. We are back. Let me put you back on the stand here. We're going to reposition the camera. Okay. Giving you a spin and a twirl. Hopefully that was not too fast. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get this little lady out of here. All right, all right here she goes. She is out. Okay. 
Okay, so I just got the plant out. Here she is. I have just popped her in that container for now. There's no soil or anything, but let me go ahead and get the other one in and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with this little baby. And the plant, the replacement that we got, oh, it's a little disappointing, I will admit. It's very small, very skinny. I will say that you can definitely get a better product from your local nurseries before ordering from Fast Growing Trees. The only reason why I had ordered from them was that they had the... Um, they were having a spring sale, last year's spring sale, where you got two for one. And uh, that's when I purchased them, purchased these. But I remember checking them out at my local nursery, and you would, you've gotten, at the nursery, you'd have gotten a healthier, more mature product for the same price. And you would not have had to pay extra for the warranty. Well, I don't know how your local nurseries work, but with my local nursery, you would not have had to pay extra for a warranty. Okay, let me bring the replacement over so that we, you can all see it here. It is still resting in the box. Let me take you along with me. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but let's give it a try, right? When I've, have I never not try? But right, so this is our replacement right here. Okay. A very skinny little thing. Oh. The only thing that weighs anything on it is the root ball. Let me get it down so you can see it. All right. Oh, okay. So this is our little thing that we're working with. Look at how skinny. Look at how skinny. I know I was so disappointed when I saw how skinny. Um, and slender and young this is. This is a baby, right? This is an absolute baby. But, uh, yeah, what can you do? Like I said, if um, with the amount that they charge for this online, if you purchase this from your local nursery, even your local Home Depot, you are going to get a better product. So, yeah, let's keep that in mind. Not hitting on my fast growing trees now. There are benefits to everything if you wanted to plant perhaps a smaller plant for me to make it easier for you oh, and that's definitely a way to go but all right let me get the plastic off and let's see if we are deep enough mm, not impressed at all that's on my package guys so this is a drop, a drop and go bag. So they refer to this is a drop and go bag that it comes in. Oh, if you're any told of Jamaican, you'll know it as a crocket bag. Oh boy, I'm glad I opened it. Let me pull you guys in close. Oh, I'll show you what we have. Oh, it's a little disappointing, there. Eh? That's all right. I'm trying not to be disappointed today. I'm having one of those days, guys. All right, let me see if I can take the camera off with one hand. Whoops. Please do not fall. All right. I'm wearing my fingers, and my fingers are not blocking the lens, which is good. Okay, so this is a drop-and-go bag that it comes in. So you are the instructions are that you can actually plant this bag directly in the ground. Let me show you the plant. I've opened the bag. All right. And this... Uh, let me see. Come on, baby. This teeny little baby isn't even rooted into the bag. It's basically some baby roots and they... Oh, do you see it? It's just this little teeny, teeny tiny thing. All that weight that we were just lifting is from the soil. Uh, so in this case, we don't even need a drop and go bag, can I tell you? Because there's nothing uh, in there to drop but the actual soil itself. This is the stem of the plant. It is not thicker than this little uh, support that you that you'll tie the plant to okay and this is the Rose of Sharon blue chiffon four to five feet okay like I said not very impressive for the price that you pay but it is alive got green green leaves <laughs> And I'll go ahead and I'll plant it and I'll give my baby a lot of love, right? Welcome to the garden, baby. 
I'm going to take care of you, and you're going to grow like a weed. Yes, you are. All right. Okay, give me one more moment. I'm going to put the camera back on the stand. I'm moving you guys around so much. Oh, boy. You must be saying, Naomi, what are you doing? All right. Almost got you there. Hold on. Doing this with one hand. And let's see. Hopefully you guys are able to see me. All right, so this is our little baby that's being added to the garden. All right, we're going to have to definitely tie her onto this. And I think under the circumstances, guys, we don't need a drop and go bag because there's, I mean, come on, what's in there? I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing in there, sis. This is the actual root ball. There are a few little roots I feel at the bottom that are holding on from the base. But, yeah, I'll pull it out. See, this is <laughs> not impressive. This is, this is what we have. So, again, guys, I'll have you look online the price for this. Um, at fast growing trees, and I guarantee it at any of your local nurseries, you are going to get a product that looks more like let me turn you over to my hydrangea. You're going to get a product that looks more like where is where is the hydrangea there? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. A product more like this if you purchase from your local nursery. All right, fast growing trees, I'm not troubling you, I'm just keeping it real. All right, I'm a value shopper where plants are concerned, and this I am disappointed with. All right. Okay. All right. So, seeing that we don't need the drop and go bag, we are going to put the log into the soil to show. Oh, see what they have in here. So I'll just pour this out. Bag's not necessary at this point. As small as she is, we pray that she does well, and that she just grows into the space and makes it her own. Put some more soil in there. Here we go. So what I did is I had put in the da -da -da -da, the soil that came from the grow bag. There really isn't a reason to use the grow bag because look at this little thing. This little thing had very little roots. Right? It was weighed down by that heavy soil. It was very difficult for me to lift it. It's a very small, very small, very small, very small plant. Not impressed with the size of it, but it is alive. I'm going to give her lots and lots and lots of love. I welcome her to the garden with all of my heart. We're going to plant her up and uh, get her growing here. All right? I think I am deep enough for her. Let's see? I think we are definitely deep enough. All right, let me put her in and see. Come here, baby. They recommend that you do not cover anything that was not covered when you um, got the plant. So this looks about where she will be. Oh, it's so disappointing. Oh my God, this is disappointing. In terms of the size, in terms of the height and everything, it's disappointing, but that's all right. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. My plant can hear me. Baby, I love you. I'm so happy that you're here. You're going to grow beautifully for me. I'm just uh, saying that they should have sent you a little bit bigger, right? But you are gorgeous as you are. All right, let me use my hands to get the uh, soil in here. Where are my gloves? Go. Hmm. Yeah, this is a... Mm -hmm. Well, where are my other gloves, guys? Right here by the camera, of course. All right, this, 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 this is, oh boy, I'm sorry. It's all right, it's all right, all right. All right, so we're gonna get her in here, just a moment. Make sure that you are centered. All right, which is important, but not really. Let me make sure that I have her sort of centered, let's see. One foot and a half, one foot and a half, yeah. This looks almost centered, right guys? I've never been able to plant anything smack on center, nor straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good with, with that. 
and I'm quite okay with it, and I, I accept that that is, that is just who I am. The soil level was up to here when she was in the bag, so I'm going to make sure that we're at the same level. Which is pretty easy. It's a matter of fact, you know. This is a young little thing, guys. This is a baby. But all right, we have planted our baby with love. Hopefully our baby is going to do well for us. Okay. I think we could use a little bit more soil. Let me chop it up just a bit. Let me even this off just a bit. I normally use this nice green tie. It's very gentle on the plants and it does expand. So um, it will not damage her as delicate as she is, right? Let's do a little tie here. Okay. Just to hold her into this one. Okay, Mama, it's you. And then I'm going to get two for either side, which I do have. All right. I'll put two on either side, just like I've staked all of these standards in this row, because this area, when it does get wind, it really does get a lot of wind, and I'd like to ensure that she stays steady. Yeah? All right, guys, so this is what she is looking like. This is what the space is looking like. We are going to have to give this little baby some time. Yeah, she's going to take about a year or so to catch up with everybody else, but hopefully she will. Um, let's see. I think the space still works. I am having thoughts, guys, about the... Tell me the name of that autumn lily, azalea. That azalea that I've been waiting on. I'm kind of second-guessing myself about that azalea, guys. It's taken a really long time to give me something. Marie, she has grown back. She has put on leaves and she is growing. I guess it's just going to take a while. I'm tempted, really, really tempted to, to take her out and replace her with a rose. But then um, I guess I'm going to give the space some time. But once in bloom, everything will look beautiful. All right, let me show you the hydrangeas if you can see them. There's a... All right, there is, oh gosh, there's a lot of flies right here, guys. There's the hydrangea right there in the back, the other rows of Sharon uh, right here. And then there's the hibis, there's another hydrangea hiding from us on this side. See so if you can see here, this is the one that I pruned incorrectly. That's growing as a very tight little ball. That's all right, there she is. Okay, so yeah, the area is going to look good. Um, we just now have to wait for our new arrival to start putting on some growth for us, which she will do very quickly. I did put the hose on drip, and I think I moved it. Let me put it back on here. All right, guys. So that wraps it up for yet another video. It has been awesome spending this time with you as always. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, guys. Do remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell and you know what I need to say something so I when I moved ahead to start the YouTube channel right I expected to have 10 subscribers <laughs> handful of subscribers right that's going to be my mom my sisters yeah a close friend um, but if you look you will see that there are over 500 subscribers right now and that's because so many of you have taken the time to hit that subscribe button 
to send out that love and let me tell you it feels good and I appreciate the fact that you have joined the family I appreciate the fact that you took the time to hit the subscribe button to say that hey you enjoyed the content right you guys are absolutely awesome and then I do need to give a shout out to all of you who are watching the videos what thank you so much for viewing the videos yes and for uh, sharing your comments and for all of the advice that I have gotten. I have learned so much in this little space of time. It, it's, it's just awesome. Now I know to use um, Epsom salt and two tablespoons of Epsom salt and two gallons of water to water over my beds to prevent black spot. Hello, listen, I'm learning things, right? You guys are awesome. I'm learning the name of plants because I now have a community of gardeners that I can um, share things with and get feedback from so I just want to say thank you to all of you every last one of you you guys are absolutely awesome um, and as always I really do enjoy spending this time with you guys thank you for having subscribed to the channel thank you for watching the videos and those of you who are thinking about subscribing I know you're going to subscribe hey thank you too Thank you for subscribing as well, right? You guys are all absolutely awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video.